everyone. Here's a short yoga flow to help you connect with your core, get your energy flowing, and help you to release any stress or anxiety you may be carrying right now. I hope you enjoy. We'll begin on our backs. If you have a block, um, that's great. If not, no worries, you can still do this practice regardless. So starting in bridge, we'll have the feet on the floor about hip width distance apart. Press firmly into the feet, engage the glutes, and then inhale, lift the pelvis off the mat. Our goal is not to get into a very high bridge, uh, but rather to find a low bridge where we can establish a neutral pelvis. Feel the glutes lifting towards the front side of the hips. Feel the front pelvic points gently hugging in towards each other. And make sure the front ribs aren't popping out. Stay here for a few more breaths, and while we do, we'll stretch out our wrists. So reach your hands up towards the ceiling, palms turned up, fingers pointed back. Take your left hand, grab the right fingers, gently stretch them back. Keep the breath nice and full, and keep the glutes working. And begin to stretch out the left wrist, doing the same thing as we did on the other side, gently pulling the fingers back. And then we'll lower the arms, and by now you should feel your glutes really awake, lower slowly on an exhale. And then starting to wake up the abdominals, take a block if you have one and place it between your inner knees at the thinnest or medium width. And then interlace your fingers and place your hands behind the head. Elbows pointing up, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, lift up off of the shoulder blades. Let the weight of the head rest into the hands. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lifting up. You can gaze towards your belly and feel your belly drawing towards your back body. Inhale, lower the head. Exhale, lifting up. Option to extend the right leg up. Keep lightly squeezing the block with your inner knees. Return the foot to the floor, inhale, lower your head. Exhale, lifting up. Straighten the left leg. Draw the ribs in. Foot to the floor, inhale, lower the head. Exhale, lifting up. Right leg extends, and then you have the option to reach your left hand up towards the ceiling, drawing the belly even more deeply towards the back. Hand to the head, foot to the floor, inhale, release. Exhale, lifting up. Straightening the left leg, reaching the right arm up, lifting off of that right shoulder blade even more. Hand to the head, foot to the floor, inhale, lower. Exhale, lifting up. Straighten the right leg. Reach the left arm up. Get off that shoulder blade and then turn a little bit to the right, crossing your right arm over. Hand to the head, foot to the floor. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lifting up. 
straightening the left leg, reaching the right hand up, lifting off that shoulder blade, turning a little bit to the left, crossing your right arm over. Hand to the head, foot to the floor, inhale, lower. One more time each side, exhale, lift. Straightening the right leg, lift the left arm, cross it over and twist, and feel your tailbone curling up slightly, but keep the sacrum grounded. Hand to the head, foot to the floor, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Straightening the left leg, reaching the right arm up, slicing it over, lifting the tailbone slightly. Hand to the head, foot to the floor, inhale, lower. And really feeling that heat and warmth in the belly now. You can set your block aside, bring your feet to about the width of the mat. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, point your knees to the left. Feel your right glute lifting into the front right hip. You can even take your left hand to that front pelvic point um, to get some feedback. Give your brain more of an idea of what you want to bring uh, your awareness into or where you want to bring your awareness into. And then you can stretch the right arm overhead but keep those front right ribs drawn in. And then lower that arm. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, point them to the right. The feet stay active. Our goal is not to get the knees to the floor. You can cross the right hand to the front uh, left hip point, and then maybe reach the left arm up by the ear. Lift the left glute into the right hand. And then lower the arm. Inhale, lift the knee. Walk them back into alignment with the hips. We'll do one more quick set of abdominals. Um, when we take time to connect with the core, we really feel a sense of empowerment, uh, especially in times where we're feeling kind of powerless with whatever's going on in the world or our lives. Um, so get into the core, find your center, find your strength. So you're gonna lift the knees above the hips, Place the block between the knees. Hands behind the head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Remember to let the weight of the head rest into the hands. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Reach your right uh, foot up towards the ceiling. Rebend the knee. Inhale, lower the head. Exhale, lift. Left leg straightens. Keep the sacrum grounded. Rebend the knee. Inhale, lower the head. Exhale, lift. Right leg straightens. And then um, you're going to turn just a little bit to the right. Staying off of the right shoulder blade. Square off, bend the knee, inhale, release. One more, exhale, lift. Left foot reaches up. Turn a little bit to the left, staying off of that left shoulder blade. Square off, bend the knee, inhale, lower. And we'll set the block aside. Come up and around onto hands and knees. So placing hands under shoulders and knees under hips, lengthening through the spine, lifting front body into back body. Exhale, round your spine, draw the tailbone down, release the head. 
Inhale, scoop the heart forward, lift the tailbone, but keep the front ribs almost knitted together. And we'll keep going. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. So beginning to free up some of the fascia in the back body. Mobilize the spine. One more time, exhale, round the spine. And then inhale to neutral, lower onto your forearms for dolphin. So you can have your palms down on the floor or interlace your fingers, um, which can be a little bit milder for the shoulders if you have any shoulder concerns. Uh, just make sure that the elbows aren't too much wider than the shoulders. Big inhale. And then exhale, lift the pelvis up. You can always keep the knees bent if that helps you maintain a sense of length to your spine. And the head is just released. So we'll take a few breaths here, starting to wake up some of the upper core muscles. And then lengthen through the sides of the waist. And then exhale, lower the knees, and head back into child's pose for a few breaths. Feeling grounded, feeling calm, but also starting to ignite some energy within your being. Come back up through table and find your way up to a standing position. We'll go through what's called sun salutation one. We'll do a few rounds or a couple rounds of this. Um, go as slowly as you need to. Listen to your body's feedback. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward. Step your right toes back, lower the knee and the top of the foot. Inhale, arms come forward and up. Bring the hands to the floor, step back into plank. Lower the knees, lower slowly on an exhale. Pull back with the hands, inhale for cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right uh, foot forward, lower the left knee and the top of the foot. Inhale, arms lift, really working the left glutes. And then hands come down, step the left foot forward, big exhale, spine stays long. Inhale, come forward and up. Exhale, hinge to fold forward, step the left toes back, lower the knee and the top of the foot. Inhale, arms rise. Feel the front ribs drawing in. You're really hugging your belly into your back. Hands come down, step back into plank, lower the knees. Exhale, lower onto the belly. Inhale, pull back for cobra, keep the glutes on. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, lower the right knee and the top of the foot. Inhale, arms lift, lengthen through the sides of the waist. Hands come down, step the back foot in, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. So some different variations here. Step the right toes back, lower the knee, but keep the toes tucked. Inhale, you're gonna tuck your uh, left arm behind the back, right arm comes forward and up. Hands come down, step back into plank, lower the knees, lower slowly. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, lower the left knee, but not the toes. Right hand behind the back, inhale, left arm up. 
and you can use your right hand to remind the left glutes to keep working. Hands come down, step the left foot forward, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Step the left toes back, lower the knee but not the toes. And then just let your arms dangle and go into some nice shoulder rolls. You want to feel the whole shoulder complex working, so um, the shoulder blades, even the ribs are feeling a little bit of that mobility here. And then hands come down, step back into plank, lower the knees, exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale for cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, lower the right knee, but not the toes, come up, arms dangle, Roll those shoulders, normal to hear, hear some kind of crackling or feel that sense of stuckness. Hands come down, step the right foot forward, exhale. Inhale, rise up and release the arms down. Stand in Tadasana. Notice how you feel. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. And exhale, fold forward. Um, step your right toes back, uh, but keep the knee lifted. Ground into the right hand and then float the left arm up for a twisted crescent. Head releases. Lean back into the stability of your right shoulder blade. Bring your hand to the floor. Step the left foot back for a one-legged plank. And then lower the left toes, lower the knees, lower onto the belly. Reach your arms back. Inhale, lift for locust. So your chest, arms, and legs lift off the floor. Tailbone hugging back towards the heels. Lift your face into the back of your skull. And then hands come under the shoulders, press up and back, downward dog. And then we're going to exhale, walk the hands back towards the feet. Sit back into the glutes, so we're kind of letting the belly rest on the thighs. Head releases, spine stays long. So we're opening up the entire back fascia line of the body. And then inhale, mindfully come up and make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold forward. Step the left toes back, keep the knee lifted, ground into the left hand and float the right arm up. So the twist is coming from the central axis of the spine, the space around the ribs, and just let the head and neck release here. And then lowering that right hand down, swing the right foot back, one-legged plank, Lower the toes, lower the knees, lower to the belly. Arms reach back, inhale for locust. Keep lengthening the spine here and continue to lift front body into back body. Bring the hands under the shoulders, lift into downward dog. Feel free to step the feet in a little bit. You can always bend the knees. Avoid collapsing in the chest. We want an even amount of weight between hands and feet, and then really lifting the pelvis up. Exhale, walk your hands back. Fold forward, keeping the spine long, so not trying to really round in the spine. Um, 
and not trying to keep the legs straight. We want a nice deep bend to the knees. Inhale, come up. And release the arms down. Come back to the floor all the way onto your back. And just pause here. Lift your right knee above the right hip and then cross your ankle over the top of the left thigh. Option to lift the left knee above the left hip and then you can reach through and grab the left leg, but you don't want to feel like you're pulling a whole lot with your arms. Keep the sacrum grounded. Avoid letting the pelvis tilt. And then walk your feet to the floor. Lift the left knee above the left hip, then turn it out crossing your ankle over the top of the right thigh. Lifting the right knee if that feels appropriate. You can reach through and grab the right leg or the legs can just hold themselves here. And then walk your feet down and stretch out for Shavasana. Feel free to press pause and take as long as you need here. And when you're ready, uh, we'll come up to a seated position. So if it's comfortable, keep your eyes closed. Notice the length in your spine, the openness around your heart, the stability in your core. Bring your hands together in front of your heart center, Anjali Mudra. Take a big inhale, expressing gratitude to your body. And as you breathe out, extend a sense of kindness and compassion to all living beings. Namaste.